I again have placed a different solution in each of these tubes. The tube on the left contains a starch solution, while the tube on the right contains water. The starch solution will act as our positive control, while the water solution acts as our negative control. To detect the presence of starch, I'll be using a reagent called Lugol's iodine. In the presence of starch, iodine will turn the solution a bluish-black color and there will be precipitate on the sides of the tube. I'll start by adding the iodine to the negative control tube. Without starch present, the mixture retains the original brownish-reddish coloration of the iodine. Even agitation does not change the color. I'll now add iodine to the positive control tube, which contains starch. Notice that immediately there's a color change to the bluish black previously described. And as I agitate the tube, you can see the precipitate forming on the walls. Again, notice the difference in coloration between the positive and negative control. And again, note the bluish black smudges denoting the precipitate on the sides of the positive controls tube.